I think that the challenge is to not maybe make it too automatic and too many like automatic emails and send out. I think the challenge is actually to connect, really connect to people and to try to get that real loyalty that only comes from actually human, human interaction, which is what we are good at doing at scale. So I'm here now with Michael, the CEO and the founder of Interactive. Michael, great to see you here. Good to be here. So this is your third year of attending Sigma and I would love to get your uh, perspective. How has industry changed in these three years? Three years ago, it was an extreme focus on acquisition. You know, growth was great and uh, uh, the operators didn't really need to take care of their uh, customers so much. But what we see now, and we obviously we've been doing this for 10 years, so, uh, and in the beginning we were struggling to get the attention because everyone was growing so much. So it was like, why would we take care of our old customers? But now what we see is that, especially this year, everyone is focused on actually getting into contact with us to actually reach out to their already existing customers and getting them to come back and, and to stay lo loyal with the brand. So that's a big difference that we used to like call out and try to get people to be interested, but now it's it's actually the other way around, which is pretty pretty pleasant for us. <laughs> pretty pleasant indeed. And yeah. now if we look at the industry as a whole, what kind of challenges have we seen and how have Interactive been really working to overcome them? I think that the challenge is to not maybe make it too automatic and too many like automatic emails and send out. I think the challenge is actually to connect, really connect to people and to try to get that real loyalty that only comes from actually human human interaction which is what we are good at doing at scale and i recently saw a publication which was mentioned this big 68 percent figure yeah. i'd love for you to give our viewers a little bit of an insight of what it means yeah so the 68 percent has actually nothing to do with gaming it, it was a survey that was made many many years ago huge study uh, in the us uh, and uh, they actually looked at customers, why they leave the suppliers. And that study showed that we don't leave a supplier because there's a better product or, or uh, a better offer. At the end of the day, we want to be seen as customer. We want uh, the, the, the companies to appreciate our business. And, and that's, I kind of, I, it kind of got to me, to me that study and that's what we're all about here to actually see the customers and what we see in our studies when we ask customers they don't say that they leave to other brands because the brands have a better bonus they leave because they actually don't know or and that I think comes from the fact that they feel that they're not seen they don't really know why they leave they just feel that no one cares so they go somewhere else and this is the bridge that we're trying to get. Okay, and now finally, 2020, 2020 and beyond, what is next? This has been an amazing year for us. We have signed with SDS, the largest Polish operator with 50% of the market. Uh, we've signed with Casumo, we signed uh, with Tipico, which is a huge German operator, obviously. Uh, so it's all about taking care of that, them, ramping up with them, continue to work with Betson, Aspire and Kindred, our loyal and GIG, our loyal customers. So it's all about you know keeping it going and make sure that they're super happy with the product, make sure that uh, we continue to de develop our reactivation cloud with all the tech that's needed to take care of this and to, to do it large scale. So it's, an it's been the best year so far and, and next year is going to be even better, I'm sure. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Michael. Enjoy Sigma. Thank, thank you so much for having me. Thank, thank you. you.